Alright folks, welcome back to Let's Play Romance of the Three Kingdoms 11. This is the Mysterious JG. As you can see, uh, we've got enemies to the south, enemies to the southwest. We've got our great enemy south, south to the northeast. Uh, we've got one city in all of China that doesn't have an opinion on us. They're not, deplo they're not an ally, and they're not our enemy. That's Han Juan. As ridiculous as this might seem, well, we've got a hostile force down here in the form of Xiao Fan, with his prefect, prefect branded elemental strategist. I believe is also branded elemental. Um, he also has Shi Grimith working for him. He's not going to be our next target, folks. What I want to do, once I've got my army down here built up to, you know, something resembling full strength, I'm going to take Dong Ting. I'm going to go across the water here. Oh no. That shit. That's not gonna work. My next target, I want to take uh, Changsha. Uh, I can't invade through here because Wu. No wait, Wu and I are allies, so I can probably move through that base. Actually, that's a good thing. It means I won't have to take it. Um, and there might, you know, it might even be easier. There might be a land route. Yeah, if I go through Wu Ling, do 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 do, cross over here. Can you cross through here? This is wasteland. Uh, it's unselectable, but there's a little... I think you can get across here. Let's just find out. But I think you see where I'm going with this, folks. Uh, yeah, sword settings. I'm not actually doing anything here. Ooh, no, you can't cross there. You'd have to go all the way around through here. I'd have to pass by the Ling Ling. Crap, that's not good. I want to do is attack the city. All right. It looks like because we're allies, I am going to be allowed to move through Wu's base. They really shouldn't let me though, because the idea of taking Changsha, as you might have guessed by now, the whole concept is that once I take this city, Wu and I are allies. They would have to pass through my territory to attack Zhao Fan. They can do that. But I think they're less likely to bother with attacking Zhao Fan, as long as they're I'm here. So this should make it easier for me to take over these, all three of these cities if I take this one first, and that'll give me a chance to get uh, Branded Elementa and She Grimoth. Uh, you know, once they get captured, once their last city falls, I'm sure that they will see the the wisdom in joining with the the Shu Han forces, the loyalist forces supporting the restoration of the Han, because there is still a chance to save Han. Uh, but, yeah, let's get on with our turn here. Enough blathering. Mr. Sirius, is there any way you could pick up the pace, buddy? Well, now, what I'm not absolutely sure about is uh, what would happen if these guys were attacked. They're in transport mode. But there's like 300... There's like 37,000 troops. So if like an 8,000 troop enemy unit attacked them, would they instantly fall because they're a transport unit? I honestly don't know. She Grimoth... Or, excuse me, uh... Grimace, Grimace, he, he might know the answer. He plays this game. And, uh, you know, Larry, I hate you, might have come across this situation. I don't know. Got two pieces of free land. I'm going to build a barracks and a smith. And it's going to take you guys forever. I should think about having somebody else do this, but... Jang Fei is like the worst political officer ever. Now that Mr. Sirius is out of town. And now we've got uh, all these guys are busy, and I need to get them restoring civil order there. Let's head on down to Liu Bei Town. Don't take me down to Liu Bei Town. Don't take me down to Liu Bei Town. Come on, Yan Yan, damn it. We want you in our force. You're the man, buddy. Half these guys are probably going to escape. Now that I think about it, I've got all these troops moving around from city to city. I don't really understand how the keeping prisoners for a long time works. I might have just totally blown it. Ooh, this guy could... Nope. Oh, come on. You 
guys look like you're totally ready to ditch him. Come on, I want this guy working for me. He's a big freaking jerk who tried to kill you, babe. Can't really do a whole lot in that city before they get the barracks completed. How about you guys? Can you hire any of those, uh... Old Liu Zhang officers? Hey, you can hire... Queen Huang Huang and Guangri. What about Yan Yan? No, Yan Yan's way too loyal. Cool. Yes, let's start hiring away Ma Tang's officers. He'll be like, What? You're hiring away my officers, you betrayer? And I'll be like, Dude, you freaking captured Zhao Yun and destroyed a bunch of our troops and made us give you a bunch of money, you jerk. You got no right to complain. Chow away from Ma Tang. That's what I want to do. Alright, that doesn't seem likely to happen, though, does it? Okay. Something about tanks gonna destroy it by like, you know, it's out, it's out. It was a farm or what it was. There's just a random raging fire. It's always nice. This guy's going over to reinforce a farm or something. Yay, drill cavalry research complete. Alright, and Yang Ang's leadership is now 70, plus one. It's too bad. 70 is a good score, but it used to be 69. Woo! Sexy! Wait, somebody ordered destroyed Ma Tang's market? But it looked like it was that light blue, like... Is Liu Kong? Liu Kong's fucking with Ma Tang! as much as it does when like Liu Kong is taking the fight to Ma Tang. Nice. This is a city with a fuckload of troops in it, folks. Damn. 70. 72,000 troops. What kind of weapons have they got? That's Wen Ping. Wen Pin. They have a lot of weapons. Got a ton of regular troops for some bizarre reason. It's all swords. They have they have not attacked this place, even though it's like freaking unguarded by uh, Sun Quan right now. Maybe they actually formed a ceasefire or an alliance or something. I know it's possible to check the relationship, the diplomatic relationships between forces that are not yours, but um, I don't remember how to do it. I don't really feel like figuring it out right now. So anyway. And we're already up to almost 250 TP. So, like, we've now got enough cities that we're earning TP points a lot faster than we used to. And that's good, because I want to start getting some research done. By the end of the game, you're getting research points so fast, you don't even know how, what to do with them. Throw them troops. Grab them cakes. Oh, you know what? I should have I should have sent Jang Fei to try to recruit Yan Yan. He recruited Yan Yan to choose forces in the novel, which I would think means Juge Leon can hire this dude, Mr. Mustache up there. Well, we need Jang, whatever his name is, on our side. Clearly, this guy whose name I've already forgotten is the most important officer in the Tech's army. So 
slowly but surely improving civil order up there. Yay, I can recruit troops with the help of Sun Wukong, Liu Bei, and Doom Screamy. press a fight with Cow Cow. They don't want to retake that city that I lost. That is theoretically supposed to be theirs. Miju has been successfully employed. Or Miju has successfully employed Gao Pi. I'll do everything in my power to aid Liu Bei in this conquest. Oh, and Liu Zhang doesn't like me anymore. Yang Shi has successfully employed Quin Kuyang. I'm confident of my martial abilities. Thank you for this opportunity. Liu Zhang doesn't like us. It's a shame. I thought we were going to be able to patch things up with him. Oh, Montaigne, you going to do something about that? You going to take that? Troop strength at Jiangning is somewhat thin. If you can find an opportunity, nobody can help about targeting them. Jiangning, which of the many cities I plan to conquer is that? Yes, that is the next city I'm going to conquer. I believe I'll be able to conquer them before I'm able to conquer Changsha. But it's not a certainty, folks. Depends on how long it takes Mr. Sirius to get the army down here. Liu Bei and his men are pretty much ready and rearing to go. I'm just, uh... Well, that's a good point, actually. The army that took this city is currently in this city. But, yeah, I can still afford to take a few turns to, uh... Blow through all the gold that we got here. We've got, uh... 6,000 spears, 1,000 bows... Horses, ram in a tower. What kind of opposition are we looking at facing over here? This guy throws his entire military force at us. What is that going to entail? He's got 30,000 troops. Yeah, let's not take him too lightly now. Got a lot of crossbows, a lot of spears. He doesn't seem to... He's never moved out of that city, but, um... Yeah, I'll need to have a decent sized force going here. What is he? How many pikes has he got? Got fewer pikes than anything else. Alright. One problem I'm going to face is that he'll probably be able to take us on the, uh, on the water. They're good at building pikes. Oh, perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to build. What about you guys up here? You got some weapons you can spare? You got any spare wappets? They got a lot of bows. They got a lot of pikes. I actually do have a lot of stuff. Alright, well, let's uh, get some of that down there. Yeah, Yang Song is going to be trusted with transporting stuff because he's pretty much worthless in anything else. city again. At some point, you want 
us to move? Sure you want us to move to Wu Ling? Yeah, why not? Did I do everything with these cities? Didn't do anything here, obviously. Alright. I'm losing track of what's going on. Because I'm in domestic mode. Which isn't as easy as it probably seems like it should be. I can start building a shipyard, the last facility I need to build in this city. Chang Nu. And I can start restoring the public order. I believe having a high public order might help me to keep those prisoners, but I, then again, I think the prisoners are probably in Jitong, so. You guys got like no gold to spend, so. Oh, but Wang Yue Ying might be able to find an officer. Yes, after a result, as a result of my search, I found an officer named Yinmo. Yeah, Yinmo. Woo, Yinmo. Thank you for the offer, sir, but I cannot accept. Ooh, Yinmo's intelligence. He doesn't seem like a particularly dumb guy, but he can't take Huang Ying, bitches. Huang Ying is going to school this mofo. He's going to teach him a thing or two about how to talk when standing on giant rock pillars. In that case, let me tell you what a bitch you are. Oh, what? Alright, well. Let's be a jerk and ignore him and make him get really angry really fast. Maybe that wasn't that good an idea. Time. Ah, but he's got a logic card now. Watch me just completely blow what should be an easy debate. You have to calm down, think clearly. Mm. Oh no, I'm pissed. Excellent. A flying bird shadow doesn't move or something. That settle card in reserve when he gets angry. Awesome. Grab. Crap. Oh, you know, I never put officer voices back on, so that's why, um... Let me see if I can get some fat cards here. I still have a saddle, that's nice. Crushing fact attack. Crushing fact attack right back at me. Oh, you in for it now, some bum bitch. Where am I talking about? Renew and Fact Doom. Super Doom Fact. Wang Ying has successfully employed Yinmo. Let me lend Liu Bei my strength. Yay! And now we have somebody who can stay in the backwater that is Jitong after I've moved my good officers away for invading other cities. But as always, when I recruit an officer, I want to save. In case something goes to hell. And, uh, I want to go in and check my options, because I completely forgot I didn't have officer sounds on. It wouldn't have been relevant for much of this, because I haven't been doing battle, and that's mostly what you hear when they're going like, King But still, it's nice to have on. How else can we have the fun of it occasionally going, whoa, 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 whoa. 
Alright, come on, game. Time for you to save. Thank you. Alright. So let's go back to our sound options and see what's cooking. So what else can I do with these these guys up here? I can do more searching. No, well, I could, but it wouldn't be useful. I could send someone to hire Yan Yan, but they would fail. I could send someone to hire. Wow, Zhang Hang, he is pissed. Oh, but I already got Zhuge Liang going to talk to him. New key. No. Feishi. No. So let's get them going back to work on having a decent army again. They're Crossbow City, USA, so let's have them build crossbows. Perfect! And now we'll track the ongoing hot war between Liu Kong and Ma Tang. Ooh, Liu Kong and Cao Cao working together against Ma Tang? Probably not intentionally. Damn, Montang, you really need to get some navy going. Honorable Yubei, Doom Screamy has something to discuss. Understood. What the hell kind of name is Doom Screamy? I mean, I gather you have something you wish to discuss. Yes, I have an acquaintance named Liu Xiao, a person of great talent, who I feel certain would be of service to you. You don't know Liu Xiao, you're a made up officer. I mean, is that right? Is that so? Make arrangements to employ the you? I think we should. Very well. Make arrangements immediately. Understood. Another debate coming, folks. Are you there? Oh, is that you? What do you want? Oh, I'm crazy, man. Look at me. Well, I've come in the hopes that we might do, do might employ your talents in something we would like you to join our army, will you? Hmm, I would like to help, but it's a big decision. How about we settle up with the debate? If you win, I'll join your army. Watch the debate between Doom Screamy and Liu Xiao. Yes, let's do it. I believe Doom Screamy as a created officer should be able to think rings around any regular officer in the game. Yeah, she's got 95 intelligence, she's got 69, she's gonna school him. Well then, shall we begin? Alright, I accept your challenge. 6-9 challenge. Woo. Oh, I guess there's no automatic one-shot KO wins in the debate mode. I think there are, but... An advantage of 26 is apparently not enough to get one. Logic. Logic. why it bothers me that the sound glitches out so often. Eat. 
家伙。Become temporarily invincible when furious. So, oh, so I'm gonna win no matter what I do. Awesome. So good, good for me. First the fades. When it comes to God, I am the masturbator. Ha 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 ha! Funny folks. Do, 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 do. All right. So Doom Screamy has already proven herself to be an asset to the Ube's forces. I'm so glad I went and hired away from Cow Cow. Doom Screamy should belong to Toto. All right, you win. Let's go and see your lord then. Yeah, I know I was gonna win, buddy. Oh, yeah, I'm not the one I told you of. My name is Liu Xiao. I've heard much of Liu Bei and his name, which is similar to mine. Which serves you the utmost of my ability. Okay, whatever. Understood. Liu Xiao becomes warden officer. It's awesome. What will be my next turn? Asked Liu Feng, one of the many, many Liu's in this game. I can't say I'm really that disappointed to see uh, Ma Tang struggling a bit against Zao Zao there. I don't want Ma Tang to get, well, you know, too far uh, advanced in this battle against Zao Zao. But I'm going to end this video, folks, uh, because Doom Screamy is out there pulling in new officers. Soon Wukong is conquering cities, Mr. Serious, transporting forces, Pancake's Guy, chilling out with Jing Tsai and Guan Ping. Overall, these uh, created officers are, they're finally coming around into the shoe fold. The fold in my shoe. Uh, so that's good to see, I suppose. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be it for this video, folks. Uh, we still haven't gotten any of the Sworn Brothers, but, um, mostly because Bobo was just, like, completely ignoring us, no matter what we tried to do to attract his attention. Um, but maybe, you know, when we get Chi Grimmeth, and, which is only a matter of time now, because we're about to conquer the Lord who has employed him, uh, we might be able to pick some of them up, who knows. But that's gonna be it for this video, folks. Uh, when we come back, we're gonna continue... Um, trying to take over Shu. I know it's been two videos since we've been on the offensive, but I have a feeling that's going to change pretty soon. Thanks a lot for watching, folks. I'll see you next time.